is sleeping around with all these men. She's devaluing herself. She's devaluing herself, and the world knows, God knows, the universe knows. When a man does it, he doesn't devalue himself at all. That's just the way it works. Can I ask you a question? When That's that hilarious. Why are you talking about that one? <laughs> I have to laugh. Like, what the fuck is he talking about? If a man sleeps around, he doesn't de devalue himself? Of course he fucking does. Warning. This video contains super awesome content not suitable for people who don't enjoy super awesomeness. <laughs> What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. You guys know it is. It's Kevin, and you guys also know the beautiful Miss uh, Stephanie. Hey, hey. Yeah, I don't know. We're trying something new. That little little intro kind of thing there. I don't know if that was cool or not. Was that lame or was that? Yeah. Um, Bringing back to the seventies. Yeah, I think that's that's what our eighties kind of vibe. You know, a seventies yeah. show. That was a good show, actually. Okay. So I don't know this one. I don't know if this one's going to piss you off or but you can let, let us know what you think at the end of the video. All right. Or if you want to pause the video anytime, you know, just hit the space bar and you pause the video if you want to have something to say. All right. Any culture, any book, any story, any fable, there has never been across the history of humanity any respectable in the name of a promiscuous female ever, ever. You name the biggest conquerors that you could possibly name from history. Genghis Khan. Alexander the Great, all of them. They all had a hundred wives, bunch of children, big G, conquered the world. Normal. That is normal evolutionary biology. That's how men are designed to be. There's never been a single female who's been celebrated for a promiscuity ever in history. It's always been frowned upon and disgusting. So yes, we are completely and utterly different. Yes, it's different if a woman cheats on a man. And if a man is at a complete top level of his life and takes every single box, and if he decides to be loyal, which some do, and I can be loyal, and I have been loyal, but there's also times in my life where I think, fuck it, I don't want to be, and get a new girlfriend every single day of the week. I can do that, and I can decide to do that. If a woman decides to do the same, purely because her value is high enough to attract so many males, because she's beautiful, for example, it is completely different. And I'm going to explain to you why it's completely different, so buckle up. It's different. It's different. It's different. Well, I'll tell you why. It is impossible for a female to be promiscuous on a long enough period of time without devaluing herself. Because she is fucking people she shouldn't be fucking. There is no way she is sleeping with endless men, and all of them are either high value men or treating her the way she should be treated. If you find a woman who slept with 50, 100 dudes, she's either fucking dudes which aren't at her level or haven't worked hard enough to try and get the pussy. She's just too drunk to realize he's a loser and plays video games, or she's fucking a top G who barely texts her back. So either way, she's fucking dudes she shouldn't be fucking, or a guy who's at the level who doesn't give her the right amount of attention. For a woman to find a guy who's truly on a level who truly treats her the way she should be treated, that's once every couple years, if that. You ain't just gonna go out there fucking a new dude every week and say, yeah, he's worth pussy. Yeah, he treats me good enough to get my pussy, da da da. And you know what's funny about the universe? It's actually beautiful about the universe because it's equal and opposite forces. When you devalue yourself, it's kind of like men can smell it on you. Mm -hmm. They can look at the bitch and go, oh. Ugh. And that's the way it works. So you'd be very careful as a female sitting and go, does this man truly deserve to fuck me? If you think about it, the answer 99% of the time, especially if you're promiscuous, is no. So what a woman. So how do you feel just about that opening statement? I feel like he talks too much. What do you mean he talks too much? He talks too much. What do you like, feel about it? Like, this is how I feel. I think it's funny that he thinks that a man, he, okay, like from what I'm hearing him say, I feel like he's saying that it's okay for a man to be disloyal, cheat, have multiple women, and then just expect a woman to be like, okay, well, I'm okay with that. Let him go and do his thing and then come back to me later when he's, when he wants to. Well, the thing I, what he, you're missing is he's saying the top guys, the guys with stature. No, no, not every, he's not saying for every guy. That's, that's, that's people make a mistake. He's not saying every guy should do this. He's saying the guys at the top, top guys with the money, guys who work, earned it, worked hard. That's what he's trying to say. Okay. Well then if you're talking about guys with the money, okay they're going to be doing that regardless some of them but most girls will accept it though right okay just, it was just saying that that's remember that he's not saying every guy should do this that's what the mistake everyone makes well hey if the girl accepts it she she accepts it okay. i know i wouldn't i mean it depends because chris brown, chris brown? <clears throat> it depends because if they're accepting it then obviously they're, they're getting something out of that okay so you just said you wouldn't right but and then after you kind of went back said except maybe you see now no 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 but when, okay let me just say it like this these women i feel like the ones that accept it they're getting something like they're getting like kind of money or like so certain exchange kind of thing trips right? or yeah but that doesn't mean a woman accepts that but majority of women will 
Like he there are it. women who would be like, oh yeah, I'm going to be okay, right? whatever. And then there are women who will accept it, but they play the game themselves. Obviously yeah. they're going to do whatever with that guy. Let him do what he wants. She's going to take whatever money or trips that he gives them. And she's going to secretly do her own thing on the side. Yeah. But that's why he, he stayed in the, the top guys to do that. Right. Not but then the, he's not- also saying that women um, shouldn't be sleeping around and it's not allowed and like, where does that come in when he's speaking about? He's saying men that at most women don't know their value as well. That's the problem. That's what they're sleeping around. Most women don't know their value and just sleep around with any random guy rather than just sleeping on the top guy. Okay. But then also with a man, remember, a man doesn't was, know his value either if he's just sleeping around with women. Like, there's men out there that'll just sleep with you because you have an opening. But the men can't sleep with you unless you open their legs. That's the way he's trying to say as well. Remember that. Well, yeah, there's that it's, too. It's but there's there's harder. there's women out there, like I'm saying, that aren't even like attractive or whatever you may view of them. And men will sleep with them just because they're letting him. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> but the, uh, and if you have to switch around, though, Let's say a, a man who's not as attractive. You think he can get, even though he's let them, do you think he can sleep with anyone? It'd probably be harder for him, right? Well, obviously he can't go for a certain type of women because they're not going to want him. But I mean, he can get other women Yeah. from like his level. Yeah. All right. Well, let's keep watching this. Woman is sleeping around with all these men. She's devaluing herself. She's devaluing herself, and the world knows, God knows, the universe knows. When a man does it, he doesn't devalue himself at all. That's just the way it works. Can I ask you a question? When That's I, hilarious. Why are you talking about that one? <laughs> I have to laugh. Like, what the frick is he talking about? If a man sleeps around, he doesn't do, devalue himself? Of course he fucking does. You think as women sitting around at the having tea, women chat like, oh, yeah, that guy slept with like 20 women. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. His value let's, is great. Okay, yeah. let's, let, let's, do, let's do it again. Okay, look at Nick Canyon. Everyone knows a whole bunch of kids yeah, and a whole bunch of baby mamas. And people but yet, look at him as a joke. But they keep coming, the women keep coming, throwing themselves at him. So who's the real joke here? <clears throat> but the women, they keep the, th- those women, okay, they know that they're getting money from him. They're going to have his baby. And guess what? He has to pay them child support. And it's a lot of child support. Okay. And now see, I'm glad you said that. Now, if it was the other way around, you think if a man was having a kid with some women or whatever, um, he's not gonna get anything. The women, like, he's not gonna get anything from that woman. The woman's just gonna say, "Okay, you know what? Have your kid. Bye. I don't need nothing for you." Um, but there's a difference. If a woman has a kid with a guy, the whole idea is to have a family, not to just be like, oh, "I'm gonna have your kid and then bye." Like, you're gonna be a family unit. If this guy's a bum, and you you'll say that let's say it was the other way around. The woman was had you no. Know, she was a top top G. She had all the, making all the money, and this this guy wasn't making very much money at all. He just pretty much the bum. Doesn't well, know why would she sleep with him in the first place? Uh, most of these girls he's trying to say with the top G, the ones who keep going back to him, they want some stuff from him, right? Like you just said that you girls, women will have know that they can get something from this guy. That's why they will allow it. Okay. So like you said with Nick Cannon, these women go after men like that yeah. because they know that he's just trying to plant his seed and they're like okay well he just wants to get random women pregnant i want to be one of them so that i can have a good life since he's gonna have to be paying me you know whatever x amount of child support so those women know what they're doing they know what they're looking for they know what they're getting into okay right because they get money out of it yeah all right we'll leave that one there and so one second so may i ask you a question what would you say if a woman now is married to two men Hurrah. Hurrah. Hurrah, Hurrah, yes. <laughs> what is the Hurrah. difference between a man, let's say me, I have four wives, right? What's the difference between a man having four wives and a woman having four men? You can impregnate the four wives at the same time. You can impregnate the four wives at the same time, and we know who the parents are, right? So yeah. let's say you have four pregnancies, you know who the mother is, she's carrying the baby, and you know who the dad is, top G. If you had a woman with four men and she gets pregnant, who's the parents? What about if... No, but I'm asking. Okay, you know? I asked what if they're different races? Ask that question. Don't oh, ask that question. Don't exactly. Know. Now, modern science can come along and maybe fix that for you, but that doesn't mean it's not wrong in, in the eyes of God. The idea of having a family, the idea of a child being born, one of the baselines for a new life to come onto this planet is for at least to understand who the two people who made it are, at least. 
You're a woman fucking four dudes. You don't know who, who, who got her pregnant. So may I just say, wait, wait, wait. My, have you seen the twins that had two different dads? Oh, yeah, I saw oh, yeah, that. I saw that. May I just say something then? So if that is the case, yeah, if the one thing that you're meant to have is, you at least you know who the two people that put that child on earth are, then that's why promiscuity for men is also a problem because they get women pregnant. Sometimes they don't even know they have children. That's a problem, yep. no? No, it's yep. completely different. It's different because you have to understand I'm talking about humans you look at humans from a societal perspective but society has changed right so let's say two three hundred years ago if a woman got pregnant she needed a man to survive if that man didn't take care of her during pregnancy she was going to die she couldn't work a job she couldn't hunt couldn't fish whatever right a woman literally needed that man for survival so if if you were to come to me and say i'm pregnant but you've been fucked by four different dudes mm. i'm like who says this why why am i looking after you not everyone to look after her. she will literally perish this is why most of the world today Still today, virginity is so coveted, and throughout all of history, it's been so coveted because that's the only way to ensure paternity. So, what do you, th- how do you feel about that? If uh, a woman is fucking four guys, right, and basically says which guy has to take care of her, how does she know which guy? So he was giving a scenario as if you had four husbands or four wives. So if a woman had four husbands, then she's going to know it's one of the four. Yeah. But which one? That she's married to. So I don't get what it matters because. She needs to be married. So it's just had four, four guys, four girls. No, we were talking about wives. Okay. Like literally they were bouncing. They said wives. And then they went and he just talked about four women had four men. <laughs> yeah. And then he had four wives. Anyways. So if a woman had four husbands okay we'll keep that husbands maybe she, she might not know who is who depends on when she had sex with who and yeah x amount of times or whatever but when the baby comes out you know there's paternity tests yeah but during that time who's going to take care of that These well all of them oh, you, you guys why? are all married to her why isn't like a isn't like a like a brother husband thing like sister wife <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, okay, they're all going to be like excited. Like, yeah, one of us got her pregnant. Woo, we're family. And then baby comes, you do the paternity test and then you find out from those four husbands, which one's the father. Yeah, of course a man can go in and get four women pregnant. Ooh, good for him. He's like a macho man. (laughs) Yeah, but then he knows it's all his kids, right? Okay, and it's the same yeah. thing with the woman. She'll no, find we, we, out eventually. I don't think there's enough uh, contents because we don't know if they're all living together or she has all these. They all separate. Well, that's, if it's all separate, then it's it's a little know, bit different too. Who knows but if they, they know about each other. Let's think. There's a lot of things, right, that can go on. Anyways, like I, the thing that annoys me is that why is this even a debate? Like why okay fine yes we know a man can have sex with how many women and get them all pregnant and um he knows who his the moms are but then if those same women are sleeping with other men how does he know that that is his now no one knows but i was thinking that's the problem why does he have he does not take care of him take care of her then right but if you put it in that perspective then his logic is a little little flawed there because he's saying women will run around and have sex with other women. And then these men are pregnant in these women. But who's to say that that woman that he thinks he's only having sex with is not having sex with other guys? Yeah, that's true, I guess. Well, right. She's a virgin. I know that's my baby. She ain't a virgin. Bruce mine. Outside of this modern science bullshit, Shaitan, the devil we have here in the West, and most of the world today, without virginity or at least a low body count or at least uh anti-promiscuity you can't tell that that's your baby so it's a completely different thing you're looking at the idea of a man a woman being pregnant and coming to a group of men saying one of you has to take care of me put up with me when i'm fat and you're being annoying and i need my base pay and all the men are going to sit there and go no fuck no you can't prove it that's or it's different if i get four women pregnant we know that we know yeah. the okay so let me ask you a question so obviously back then for survival women needed a man otherwise when they were pregnant could die and all of these things they would perish in today's society, given evolution, given the fact that women we can go and get, yeah, but I'm I'm not saying that. Isn't there a glitch between what's actually happening and the nature of what we have in our bodies? I think that's probably the conflict that we're having right now. Glitch in what way? In the sense that women don't feel like they need men in the most physical sense, women, perhaps like right. naturally. It's very interesting. Women don't feel like they need men in a physical sense because life is soft, but it's mm. but it's but it's bullshit, and it's bullshit because you still need men by proxy. One and two, the second life gets difficult. You very quickly. You very quickly learn how much you need men. 
The word will go, I'm independent, I don't need no man, because I have an OnlyFans, and men pay my OnlyFans, and if anyone comes up to me, I'll call a male police officer, I don't need men. Shut up, you fucking idiot. Of course you do. Mm -hmm. Your whole life is based on fucking men. The road you're driving on was paved by a man. The house you're living in was built by a man. The car you're driving was, was designed by a man. Your whole life depends on men. And the second anything bad were to happen to you, the second you were physically threatened, or times were to get hard, or war would start, or famine, or riots, the first thing you do is find a big, strong man, shit yourself, and throw the feminism out the window. Mm. Feminism goes out the fucking window the second that the snow needs shoveling or there's a fucking broken down car or the tire needs changing then all that crap vanishes it's garbage and this is the actual very interesting thing i'll make a point here which is going to be canceled again but i don't give a fuck <laughs> but this is the point feminism in and of itself can't be defended any idea the point of an idea is that it can be defended by the people who believe in it this is what the whole point of war is since the dawn of time it doesn't matter if it was the christians against the hindus it doesn't matter if it was the germans against the french there were people who had ideas and ideologies and they're prepared to fight each other to defend their ideology feminism is an ideology which cannot be defended by feminists the only people who can defend feminism are the men who subscribe to the garbage if, you, if all the feminists were to get in a, in, a, in a line and say we want feminism and the conservative men were to get in a line you will learn very quickly it's bullshit i had a friend in afghanistan when taliban kicked america out and he told me the americans were telling were telling the girls they could go to school so they built all these girls schools and they put the afghanistani defense forces there and they get funded the afghan defense forces to, to to protect these schools you had american satellites you had night vision goggles Taliban were afraid to attack. America leaves. Now you have Afghani defense forces. They're basically blind. They don't have satellites anymore. They don't have, don't have uh, night vision, whatever. So now it's a real war. The men are standing next to this girl's school. The Taliban are coming. You're so dude. You're standing there and you're looking at this girl's school going, I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> Bad. And you just and you didn't fight. So that's why they all gave up and Taliban took over so quickly. And when I said this to girls, like, yeah, they should have fought for us, feminism. But why don't the women fight? Can you just oh, the women can't defend their own fucking idea. You need men to defend feminism. So that's why the whole thing is stupid. So if fucking men don't defend it, it just, it just fails. It's a fucking ideology. It's garbage. May I tell you something now? Jeez, how do you feel about that? He was talking so much. Um... <laughs> okay, okay. Let, let me, I told you, you can pause it whenever you want, okay? Like, okay, let's go back to the OnlyFans thing. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of girls out here who have OnlyFans. See, this is funny though. Like his I his um example had to be like, oh, I can I don't need a man, I can do it on my own. I have my OnlyFans. Like, why is it OnlyFans? I think he was just there's a lot of girls nowadays who say they don't need a man, but yet it's, they're using OnlyFans to get money. <laughs> but guess who's the one? That yeah, but are he's paying putting these... he's putting women in just a little tiny like section. We're not all like that. We're not all like on OnlyFans. Major like, he's just saying majority of women. Nowadays. I know, but just the way he comes across. It's majority just like... of women, uh, especially these feminine ones, he's trying to say. Mm -hmm. They all believe in feminists. They all, oh, yeah, rah, rah. But when they're the OnlyFans, guess who subscribed to them? It's not the females. It's majority men well, subscribe to their OnlyFans and paying their bills. Mm -hmm. So you, you realistically, you still need men. Like you're trying to say you don't need men, but guess who's paying your bills? A man. Okay. Right. That's what he's trying to say. So this feminist, feminist stuff doesn't work. Okay. That's what he's trying to say. You get that? No, or, I get or, it. Or, I get it. But it's like, okay. It's say like, why well, try to push something like feminist and feminist and sell rah rah when it's you do rely on men. Just say you rely on men. That's it. That's what he's trying to get across. We rely on men. But these feminists are trying to say like they don't rely on men. We don't need men. But um, surprise, surprise, you need men. Right. If you're an OnlyFans worker, sure. Or or anything else, really. Like I said, for wars, majority of times mm -hmm. it's guess what? He just used the example of the Afghanistan. Women didn't defend it. They just said, oh, what? Fuck it. When the guys left, they said oh, women just gave up. Yeah. Well, then that's just a woman. That's like their problem. Because they can't But fight. I think in, in, isn't it in that country a little bit different? Well, the women, the women there are. was two schools, they said, right? There was mm -hmm. a female, all female, and all male. The, as soon as the uh, Americans left, the females were pretty much left to defend themselves. Guess what? They couldn't defend themselves against the men because they need men to defend them. Mm, okay. That was the problem. You So he's trying to say that. As much as they want to say you don't need men, realistically, you need men, right? Mm -hmm. That's what he's trying to get across. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess. So but he, I mean, I can say it in another sense that there are no. women out there that would, in other countries, that would fight. That's just not they enough, though. That's, that's the thing about it. It's not enough. Like, sure, there's a handful or a couple. I agree with that. But that's not enough, right? Well, I mean, it all boils down to how independent of a person you are and a strong-minded person a woman is. I guess. Because um, he brought up the example, oh, if it snows, you, you need to shovel, you need a man. I don't need a man to shovel. I okay, can do you don't it on my need own. a man. 
I do a lot. I do everything on my own. Like, okay, well, you're probably one of those most few women. What right? I would say, though, hell yeah, it's a lot easier if a man with, was to do it. With a man there, right? But when you are doing it on your own, you eventually get accustomed to it and you learn. And that the thing is, we're so dependent on men doing everything that we're not learning. But what's the problem being dependent on men? Men are dependent on women for certain things. Well, too, right? for example, we single it. moms, right? We've been dependent on men and then all of a sudden we're not with them anymore. And then now we have to basically teach ourselves to do the jobs that we had the man do. So now we're doing them. Yeah, but that's why there's a lot more support for single women. There's not much support for single men. Would you agree mm -hmm. on that? Well, I mean, no one's coming here and shoveling my my stuff. No one's coming here and, and drilling my TV and all that stuff. No one's doing that. I guess that's so true. support in that sense. We're not getting that money wise. Okay. Yeah, sure. But I guess one of and on the other side for the man's side, we have to all what you just said, plus pay, pay, pay women, single women. Right. So you're still getting the better half of the better deal. Anyway, would you say that you still get a better deal? I mean, now you're learning how your independence, like you said, you the better deal. But the thing is now where our life is altered because we have a, a dependent oh. that we're taking care of like 24 seven. So I feel like in a sense, it's kind of like split down because if a woman's staying home and, and taking care of a baby, she now can't do certain jobs because she has that dependent. And then that's where the man's support comes in like money wise. Because she can't, or maybe she can, it's like up and down. She can't support herself financially to the full extent that she would like to, because yeah. she has to take care of the, the child. Agreed. So, and then that man has so much freedom now. He can get any type of job he wants. He can go on vacation whenever guess, he wants. He can see he, his friends whenever he wants. That's why he pays, right? Yeah. And like, yeah, right. that's why the guy puts in that kind of so support. So then, then it's kind of, uh, we, like you say, it's balance. But yet women still complain about that. It's balance in a sense. It's but, you know, it takes a toll mentally and everything. And like, that's just on a whole different topic. But, like, yeah. Okay. I mean, sometimes I feel like it can be 50-50. I don't know. I guess it's just hard for a woman to view it in a guy's point, And then it's hard for the man to view it. But men do. That's, in the that, women's that's the, the thing. Women's but women, but they they're, don't. They're trying to say what uh, women don't view men's point of view. Like men understand, like at least I do. And I know majority of yeah, my well, friends. You understand only because you have kids of your own. But there's a lot of men, <clears throat> even men with kids that don't, they don't get it because they don't spend all that time. They like give a guy a, a, a newborn baby, make him a single father <sighs> for a year and see how he does that. Yeah, that's it's that, going to be hard. I won't lie. That, that is kind of difficult to take and give a newborn baby and not it's not a fun at all. But like I said, women are just better at it than men, just like men are better at certain things than women. OK. All right. Let's just leave that and keep keep uh, watching. So this is the thing. This is when we assume that women perhaps don't have the physical okay. or even mental ability to go to a war. Wait, 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 because this is the thing. For example, in Ukraine, a lot of women took up arms. And in fact, I'm Angolan. Wait, wait, I'm Angolan. Wait, wait, oh, I'm Angolan and all lie. Listen, the people at home. wait, no worries. I'll talk about yeah, my personal you story. Go for it. You no, wait, let me happens. tell you, let me tell you something. This is the thing. I think it's also really like silly to assume that, for example, a woman, because she didn't go to school, she'll not be as intelligent as a man. Therefore, naturally, a woman is not intelligent. No, it doesn't make sense. If we're not starting to normalize equality and we want to put everybody in the forefront, give a woman a gun. normalizing equality? Well, that's what, what people are wanting. Then that, that's people let me tell you, who wants to normalize equality? People People are oh, feminist. No, no, I want, well, actually, no equality. I want respect. That's really no, all I want. Stop you from getting respect. It's no, I don't get respect. I don't get respect. I get respect. That's why I want to respect. What I think is, you never know what you want. I'll tell you what I want. You want equality. As a woman, I carry myself differently. I actually hold the things that I have done in the fight side for. I hold it. That's why when you speak to me, I don't move different. I move different to many of the girls. That's why when you talk to me and you argue with me, I don't take it. Here. You do sometimes. You. And I'll tell you something. A lot of women may have the accolades to be somebody but they are uncomfortable to own that and the reason why then i would like to ask you for example um i do need a, a man for example to you know procreate but other than that i'm quite strong and i would find things that i would find a way to protect myself differently and with that mentality what would be the man that would be for me then Danala, Danala, what would you do if one of these security guards broke into your door <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. What do you do? What? I'm not serious. I'll tell you. No, I'm not a feminist. I'm not a feminist. I'm not a feminist. 
Okay, so if a security guard was to break into your door and you are single by default, like what are you gonna do? I don't get it. Like <laughs> you're a feminist, you say you don't need a man, what are you gonna do? You don't, well, you don't need a man. So what are you going to do? For, as a, as a feminist, I don't know. Like, I'm not a feminist. So as a feminist who doesn't need a man. What are you going to do? He's, that's what I'm trying, trying. Well, she's going to do whatever she can come up with, depending on where she's at, the scenario, the exits in her place. Like, I don't freaking know. She's going to call the cops. Like, well, broke that's, like, that's, any, not, that's not, anybody, though. What you're calling a big, strong man. You do your feminist. What, but not big, all men are cops, though. But I guarantee you, which, which one would you rather? A big, strong man comes to your house or... or well, or obviously, I'd want a man because I, like... Okay. Would look at the woman as... Okay. So you want a big, strong man... Because he has the muscles. We already okay. know men ha- are stronger Okay, so you women. feel... Again, it was coming back to feminists need men. Okay. It's okay. They need men. Like, they, I'm, not, I'm not sitting here trying to argue that men aren't stronger. Like, this is what is annoying. And a lot of people in the comments think that that's what it is that I'm thinking. It's not that. Obviously, men are stronger. Men are built like that. That's their role. They're big and they're strong. They're the protector. Okay. So if a woman was in a scenario where there's another big ass man who's trying to break into her home, yeah. she's going to need Another, another big, man, big but it's, man. who's to say that that friggin' man is as big as that man? And who's to say that that man even wants to take up that man? <laughs> but that's, right? that's his job. At the end of the police officers come, that's they're gonna try to protect you, right? And you, then, like you say, you don't want you don't want a female for police officers. That big strong man, a female came. Okay, okay, well maybe she's strong. I'm like maybe the maybe female, she's strong. But more likely, out. But she me, has the gun though. She'll have me, the gun. For me, I know I would want a big ass strong man coming to help me. That's just me. Well, I'm just saying she would have the gun, but I mean, again, like I, I would rather a man police officer than a woman because again, the man's bigger, he's tougher, he's scarier, yeah. whatever. But a woman's more like fragile. Like, I mean, she could be like bodybuilding or whatever, but that's, I don't know. I haven't really seen no, much of that, yeah, but like, exactly. you know, she still has a gun. So I would feel like kind of okay that she has a gun, but again, like I don't really have much experience with women um cops anyway to even really make an assumption of how okay. they so let me ask you this um so these feminists mm-hmm. like i know you say you're not a feminist but do you feel like they're wrong like they, when they say they don't need men do you feel like they're wrong about that that statement honestly that's just their opinion but do you think they're wrong like they're just trying to push it down people's throats that's the problem <laughs> Um, that's, that's the major problem why, why people are talking about it because legit it's getting pushed down our throats so you know what if i put it like this if they say they don't need a man then they don't need a man they can do whatever they want on their own but it's going to be harder for them um if let's say someone was to break in so you agree with them they don't need a man well if they think they don't then no, they don't do you agree with them what's your opinion on it then not them what's your opinion do you think like they need a man don't do they need men I think it's, it's that yes they no. would not, need a man yes or no. for certain things. Just yes or no. Do you need the man? Yes or not? Yes or no. <laughs> this is just so no, weird no because I'm, yes or I'm no. in between. Like, I don't no, care. Be in if that's your opinion, yes that's no. your opinion. I don't it care. It seems like you just don't want to be to give the, top, the top, tough answer. Just no, answer. Yes it's or not no. that it's a tough answer. It's like... For me, if they're saying that they don't need a man, then they don't. Like, I don't want to sit there and be like, oh, you need a man in your life. Because I don't feel like they. she does. Okay. So you don't want to answer it. I don't feel like she does need a man. So you don't want to answer. I just said I don't feel like she does need a man. So that's a no? She does not need a man? I guess not. Okay. So you agree, you agree with them that they don't need a man. They can do everything themselves. So next time someone breaks in the door, hopefully a female cop. But that's what I just said. If someone breaks in the door, then that's it's all on her. She's going to be the one that has to struggle and figure out that situation, but she doesn't technically need a man, but it would be helpful for her if she had that. All right. We'll, we'll leave that one there. Okay. Let's just keep watching. I'm, I'm a bit smarter. Okay. I, I play dead one. Play dead. <laughs> yeah. Let's see you're not dead. Uh, it's okay. No, I'll be like this. That's and then it's stupid. not maybe. That's funny that she says she's played dead because, you know, I'm into so much of like those documentaries and serial killer stuff like yeah. i will know like if i was the person coming in and i see someone playing dead i'd be like yeah just in case <laughs> like, you know <laughs> make sure she's dead yeah yeah that, so that uh, doesn't think, always work i don't think that'll work either 
I would kind of like be very gentle and comply to find a way to get out okay, of it. So if they want to come and kill me, well, let's make it there's not much that many people but can let's do. Make an important point. You're talking about equality and respect. Mm. The way you get respect as a woman is by being feminine. There's nothing, uh, we can be equal and very, very different. I'm not saying that where there's not equality, but you've confused equality with the same. You can be equal equity. with completely different things. You can have a bishop and a knight on a chessboard. They're equal in terms of points, but they do different things, right? Mm. A woman can have equal respect to a man if she is very good at being a woman, and a man gets respect for being very good at being a man. When a woman decides she wants to act like a man or a man wants to act like a woman, that's where all gets fucked up. We try to pretend yes. it's the same. It's not the same. Men and women are good at different things. We have different strengths, different weaknesses. There's nothing wrong with accepting that. There's nothing wrong with saying, I'm a woman, I'm good at X, he's a man, he's good at Y. Then we work together as a team, we have a beautiful family, we're happy forever. It's only confused where you have women who sit and go, no, because in the name of equality, we can fight and work. There's no fucking women on the front line in Ukraine. That's style bullshit. They put some shit there dancing around with Pokemon dances to try and convince men to yeah, fucking die in a ditch. It's garbage. If you go to the front line of Ukraine right now, you do not see women in their makeup and their manicures. You see fucking men in the freezing cold dying. You know where the women are? Dubai. Chilling. That's where the women are. So to sit and pretend that women are just as capable physically as men is a fucking lie is delusion. To send that you're as strong as men is delusion. You are good at all the things. You're better than men at a lot of things, but it's not the physical world. As many of you know... Yeah, so how do you feel about that? After well, that it's true. Like I was saying, like we aren't stronger and physically stronger. I yeah. mean, I think we all kind of know that. Um, but I, I don't know. I feel like the argument between them, it's like kind of like what you and I were just having. It's like, yeah, it's basically like. I feel like it's such a broad subject. And like when you said to me, does that woman or the feminist need a man? And I was like, mm, yes and no. It's that's where it gets confusing because technically she doesn't really need a man if she wants to live her life without a man. But I get what Tate is saying. Like, yeah, you need a man to do this. You need a man to do that. You need a man to, you know, procreate. You need all of that. Again, which is true, but like if a woman yeah. decides to live her life manless, I don't see like what the issue is. And that's where I'm like, oh, it seems kind of like the argument gets a little bit all over the place because he's trying to say that women need a man just in general life. Yeah. And then other women are arguing like, oh, we don't need that. We need whatever. So it's like, I yeah. feel like there's a miscommunication a little bit <laughs> between men and women because I get what he's saying. But I also get like what the women are saying. Yeah, like we like I understand. It's I think it comes down to it. Like I said, uh, this feminist thing is being pushed down people's throats. That's the, that's what, how this whole thing got brought out, and is going being brought out to light, right? Because they feel like there's all these women who come out and say we don't need a man and go protest and we don't need a man women's rights, but yet they don't realize like yeah you need a you need a man to do certain things, not everything, certain things. And also, like right now, men are, it's not fair to men in a lot of things. People don't realize that. But men just got to deal with it. We suck it up and deal with it most of the times because we're told as from kids that you're a man, you got to deal with it and move on. And that, that's one of the major problems too, right? Men mm -hmm. have usually just are taught from young, you got to be the strong guy and deal with things and take care of the family. And then when you do, now we have feminists saying, oh, uh, no, 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 I don't need you to take care of the family. I'll do it myself. I don't need you. That's that, that because of problem. Okay. But then that's where it like comes down to like, yeah, people well, like we were raised from how many years ago that it's supposed to be that way. There's not a problem with the woman saying, Oh no, 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 I don't need that. Yeah, yeah, if she problem. feels like it's she's capable. She pushes down your throat though. Like I said, it's the problem <laughs> is that when they're pushing down the throat, we don't see men pushing down people, their throats, right? They're pushing down our throats. That's, that's when it became the problem. Mm. All right. So, but you said uh, you agree with them, so I guess they don't need a man. And so it is what it is. I said, if they say that they don't need a man, then they okay, man. then they don't need a man. <laughs> All right. Anyways, guys, we're going to end the video there. And uh, so let me know what you guys thought about in the comments. If you guys want any of the videos you guys want us to check out, put in the comments down below. Let us know what you guys thought about this. And uh, yeah, catch you guys next one. All right. Subscribe. Bye. Bye.